here at Medill's Farm today to see Eastern Suburbs take on Western Springs in this Lotto NRFL Men's Premier fixture. There's a lot at stake here for both teams. Eastern Suburbs looking to get their season back on track after a series of draws, while Western Springs need a much needed three points if they are to catch North Shore United at the top of the table. Both sides having a number of experienced players, Western Springs, Maya Bevan, Curran Allwhite, recently trialled with the Wellington Phoenix. Vincent Pinau's represented AFF in the Men's Futsal Super League, while Eastern Suburbs have had a number of players, Campbell Strong currently in the under-17 camp. We're off as Eastern Suburbs get us underway here. Calvin Kalua on the ball. Eastern Suburbs have a little bit of a patient build up here. And here comes Bradley Wilson from Western Springs. He's in the current crop for the under-17s. Has a shot, it's deflected and over. Eastern Suburbs, slick build up. Great save here by Ruben Parker and it's scrambled and away. Adam Thomas just releasing Kingsley Sinclair, who's cut out here by Cartoga, but Sinclair gets it back. Tees up Thomas, and Ruben Parker's got it in his hands. Here's Nakashima. Just puts it, ooh, he's put Ruben Parker underneath this pressure here. Dane Schnell, recently represented New Zealand at the under-23s in the Pacific Games. And here's Vincent Pinau, and wow, what a goal that is! 24th minute, what a way to start the game. Vincent Pinau. Western Springs currently lead by 1 to 0. Springs just looking to double their lead here. Schnell just has a shot from long range. He's strong. It's great build up play here by Eastern Suburbs, and it finds Sinclair who's got the equalizer. Well, Eastern Suburbs equalise. Kingsley Sinclair, 28th minute, 1-1. It's knocked in and Vincent Pino just flying in and Schnell decides to have a sneaky effort on goal. And now here's Joel Clisso, twisting and turning. He's got his teammate Dylan De Jong in the box. The under-23 international for New Zealand has put Eastern Suburbs 2-1 up in the 33rd minute. What a goal that was. Eastern Suburbs 2, Western Springs 1. Here's Kingsley Sinclair, he's been quite dangerous. Wriggles away from Carl Toga. Sinclair just decides to go himself, and what a strike that was, and an even better save from Ruben Parker. Just launched forward. It's a delicious ball here. For Ryan Verney, who has a strike on goal, and an acrobatic save here by Ruben Parker. Sinclair has been brought down. And Kaltoga with a second defence. Calvin Berg books Kaltoga. And Kingsley Sinclair is down. Seems he needs treatment. Oh, what a save here by Parker. He only drops it into his own net. Bill Joan just decides to go long. And referee Calvin Berg calls halftime here down at Medill's Farm. Well, Vincent Pinau opened the scoring here with a cracker of a goal. But then a goal from Kingsley Sinclair and Dylan De Jong puts Eastern Suburbs in front at the break. Eastern Suburbs 2, Western Springs 1. And it's Springs that get us underway for the second half. Maya Bevan decides to shoot from halfway. And Johns just launches it forward. Oh, and that's a bit of a high boot here by Campbell Strong, I believe. And Nakashima's gone down. And Strong goes into the book. And Adam Thomas finds Kwame Norku. De Jong. Lovely play here by Sinclair and De Jong. Oh, and Pinau's found himself behind the suburbs backline. Oh, and it's not dealt with here by Viljoen and Nakashima. What an acrobatic goal that is. What a way to equalise for Western Springs. Eastern Suburbs 2, Western Springs 2. And look who's been brought down here by Imran Shah. And it looks 
like Shah's about to go into the book. He does. Adam Thomas on a free kick. Almost bends in. Falls here to Vincent Pinal, who just couldn't quite control the ball here. And Sinclair's been brought down by Kyle Toga, and there's a lot of riffraff towards the referee here, and Sinclair is just receiving treatment. And it looks like Kyle Toga will receive a second yellow, and he's off. Western Springs are reduced to 10 men here. What does this mean for the last 10 minutes of the game? Can Eastern Suburbs take full advantage of the extra player? Sinclair crosses it in. Imran Shah getting in the way. Here's Adam Thomas. Great play here by Suburbs. It's squared across, and Sinclair's put it in. Could that be the winner for the home team? Eastern Suburbs, 83rd minute. Eastern Suburbs three, Western Springs two. Is it all over for Western Springs? Not long left to go as Dylan Bull's been brought down here. Free kick to Springs. Nakashima on the free kick. Oh, and Dane Schnell almost, almost equalizing for Springs. This could be the last attack here for Springs. My Bevan brought down here. Referee Calvin Berg. Gives a dangerous set piece here to Western Springs. Nakashima on the set piece. Let's launch it in. It's off the post. It's not cleared here by Suburbs. And it's gone in. Vincent Best in the 94th minute has equalised for Western Springs. What a time for that to come. Eastern Suburbs 3, Western Springs 3. What does this do to the league table? What does this do? And that's it. It was virtually the last kick of the game. Well, the final score here is Eastern Suburbs 3, Western Springs 3. Vincent Pinal got us off to a great start to the game with a rocket of a goal. Kingsley Sinclair then equalised for Suburbs and Dylan De Jong put them in front. In the second half, Kingsley Sinclair scored for Eastern Suburbs' third goal. But in the end, Kenta Nakashima and Vincent Best had the last laugh for Western Springs. Final score, Eastern Suburbs 3, Western Springs 3. Pretty happy with our performance. I thought we dominated large periods of the match, had most of the ball, um, found it hard with their long ball tactics. Um, uh, it's certainly a way of playing, it's not how we play down here and, and that was difficult for us. Um, disappointed to concede in the last minute. Um, maybe a decision that went against us, but I'm sure there was ones that went, went against them as well. To be honest with you, I thought we were a bit lucky to get away with the draw. Um, I thought Suburbs played really well today, um, which we know they're capable of doing. Um, our game plan didn't work today. Um, we were looking to press them um, when they were playing out from the back third and unfortunately we weren't at the races uh, doing that and they, they played really well and, and got out a lot of times and, um, and hurt us. So um, on reflection, three all, we'll take that away from home, um, getting the point, uh, especially the way we played today, we, you know, we didn't play anywhere near our potential.